crafty friends welcome to today's video today i'm going to make a very straightforward clean and simple card for you using stenciling and stamping and maybe a pen i think so my card blank is four inches by five and three quarter inches and i'm going to work straight on the card blank and i'm going to pop it on my grip mat here nice and flat because I'm gonna work on both the front and the back of the card. And for my stencil, I have this butterfly and I'm gonna pop it roughly just above the middle of the card, I think, that way, but centrally over the fold of the card. So the fold runs right down the middle of the butterfly's body. And I, although it's touching my grip mat here, I am gonna give it a little bit of help to stay still with some washi tape because there's not a lot of it in contact with the grip mat and I'll add a little bit down here. So for my first colour, my first bit of ink blending through the stencil, I'm going to use tumbled glass and I'm just going to go down the middle and build up some colour because I want the middle of my butterfly to be blue. And next I'm going to add some scattered straw and hopefully where the two colours meet we'll get a bit of green. I'm going to go back in with a bit of blue to see if we can emphasise that little green area a bit. And bring out the yellow so when I add the next colour I can get a nice blend. Next, I'm going to add warm lipstick. Worn, not warm. And I'm just going to leave the tips of the wings empty for now. So we've got a little bit of orange appearing. I'm going to come back in with the yellow. This is where I wish I was ambidextrous so I can do this and this, but I can't. So a little bit more pink around here. And now some walnut stain just on the tips. And a little bit more worn lipstick just to emphasize the area so before i take off my stencil i want to add some dots to my butterfly some black dots and i'm going to use my zig dot marker i want to be careful not to put my actually i know what i'm going to do i'm going to put a bit of paper there so i can rest my hand without worrying that I'm going to smudge ink all over the card. So I'm trying to get some symmetry here because butterflies are meant to be symmetrical. And adding dots of different sizes. The harder you press with these, the bigger the dot. And I think that will do for the minute. I'm going to take off the washi tape here and flap up my stencil just to see how it looks. To see if it needs any more work doing to it. And I think that looks fine. I could add a dot in there, a dot in there. And I can use the tiny tip of this to add a little dot in there. We could have some teeny tiny dots there. I'll do, I think. I'm not going to put any dots on the body or on the antenna. I think we will leave it like that. 
have got a little bit of brown ink here, but I can probably minimise that with a sand eraser. Barely noticeable now. And I'm going to carefully peel that up. And I'm going to just reinforce that fold now. And that is what the front of my card is going to look like. But I do want to add a sentiment. And the back of my card is going to have a picture on it as well, which I think is nice. You don't often see decoration on the back, but I do like that. So I'm going to stamp a sentiment on the front of my card. This says, believe in the magic of new beginnings, which I think goes really well with butterflies. And that's it, that is all I'm going to do to this card. I'm not going to add any dimension or anything, so it's a really, really simple, clean and simple card, because you've still got plenty of white space. Everything is contained in this band here. And I love how those colours have blended, they look really pretty, it's a pretty rainbow. Right, that's it. I hope you've enjoyed the video and it's given you another idea to add to your clean and simple cards ideas bank. If it has, please do leave a thumbs up, let me know what you think in the comments, subscribe, ring the notification bell and I'll see you back here very soon. Thanks for watching, bye for now.